We're pioneers of the mind in this classroom. Scholars and philosophers. You know what Shakespeare said about punctuality? Better three hours too early than one minute too late. I propose a final thought experiment for our final session together. Let's envision a global cataclysm. We're gonna have to take shelter here inside this reinforced bunker. We'll have to spend a full year inside this bunker, which is equipped with generator and fuel supply to keep it running that long. You see the problem? We're a group of 21, but the bunker's only built for 10. Which means you have to decide who's valuable enough to expend limited resources on. You're going to choose at random a card from inside this box. On each card, there's a profession. Based on that profession, your colleagues are going to make decisions concerning your bunker worthiness. Organic farmer. A structural engineer. Harpist. An orthopedic surgeon. A soldier. I'm a published poet. You have a brutally short window to calculate who deserves a slot in your bunker. Your one tool, logic. Was it any crueler than letting an atomic cloud peel his skin off? I don't want him in the bunker with us. Better three hours too early than one minute too late. Who are you in this experiment? I am the wild card. Don't worry about it. You'll do better in the next iteration. Next iteration? I have a different way we could go. I'd like to be in charge of who's in and who's out. This is disordered. In my apocalypse, everybody's worth as much as everybody else. I won't let you do it. Get out of there. Get out! You can't shoot me. You're a pacifist. I'll make an exception. We live briefly, but we don't mind. And when it's time to die, we don't resist death. We summon it. This is not philosophy anymore. I won't have you debating us into extinction. If you don't like it, shoot me. Do you know what apocalypse actually means? To uncover what you couldn't see before.